What's going on guys? The Football Outsiders have just been released for this week. And as you can tell, I have three types of packs. We have our playoff collectible pack, which we get from doing the solo challenges. We have our 15 pro packs. And of course, we have our bundle topper for getting the bundle. I'm going to open all three within the video. So first and foremost, Football Outsiders willing to be pulled this week are Anthony Davis, Dan Connolly, Jamie Collins, and your limited edition is Keenan Allen. So without further ado, let's go ahead, open these 15 packs, and see what we can pull. And also, I'm looking for those Pro Bowl collectibles. I'm going to try to get all of those cards to do the collections with. So hopefully we're going to get some in this pack opening that we don't have. And then I'll be one step closer to completing that collection. There we have it guys, Alteron Werner. There's one I don't have in the first pack. And we end it with a coach. So, highlight of this pack was basically just the Alteron Werner, a couple silvers. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next pack. Hopefully if everyone's been pulling packs to get these football outsiders, you're going to have a ton of luck. And with these cards just been released, hopefully we're going to be able to pull us a Keenan Allen. That's what we're aiming for. So there we have a base gold of KJ Wright. There's Patrick Willis, Pro Bowl collectible. There's an elite collectible, division winner, NFC South champs. There we go. I don't have that card, and I am thankful to have pulled it. Of course, as you guys can tell, you can't auction it. You can't trade it. You do need it for the Panthers collection. So let's just see what else we're going to get. Contract extension. So pack number two was a positive. Usually when I do these pack opening videos for the Football Outsiders, by the time I edit it down, you know, get it rendered ready to upload, it's usually pretty late on Friday nights. So I usually go ahead and upload these, of course, on Saturday. And I always have a lot of people tell me, you know, why are you opening packs? Those cards have already been released into the game and they've already been pulled. So hopefully that's going to clear a few things up. They are in packs right now as this video was recorded on Friday night. So this pack, we had our Adrian Peterson Pro Bowl collectible. And of course we had a Brandon Merriweather. And there is our Road to the Playoffs gold card. You know, also, while I'm opening these packs, you guys could drop in the comments below. And, of course, let me know if you're going to be doing the Pro Bowl collection. And as I said that, we open a playoff Tremont Williams. A very nice pull for me. He has 93 speed with 95 agility, 92 zone coverage, plus 10 to man defense, and plus 8 to pass rush chemistries. So I have not pulled that card before, so I'm very happy with that. And here we have our Pro Bowl collectible of Brent Grimes. Let's see what else we could get in this pack. What else do we have? Our contract. And there's our silver card of Mike Mitchell. So this was also another great pack for me. I'm still a good ways from completing or rather having all of the Pro Bowl collectibles for Madden 25. You know right now I have about 20 of them. I've opened a couple of duplicates. So hopefully there's Donatari Poe. And all right. Another pack, we get a playoff, no Sean Marino. We're going to flip over his card, 93 agility. I like that he has 94 acceleration, 90 speed, plus 8 to short pass, and plus 13 to speed run. So as I was saying, I have uh, probably about 20 of these at the moment, but by the time the video is done, I'm going to have more than that, and hopefully I can trade around and get some more of these collectibles that I need. We're down to 10 packs now. And I'm still looking for that football outsider. Any of them really. And right off the bat we're going to get our rookie Patrick Willis card. So let's just see what this pack has in store for us. Another Brent Grimes. I would pronounce that name. But I really don't want to butcher it for everyone. What else do we have here? Brian Jennings. Looks like we got our playbook. And of course we have our gold Chris Long. You guys may also notice up there in the top right corner. I have a nice amount of coins at the moment, and I'm still on the road to a million coins in Madden 25, something I have not accomplished yet this year, so I am hoping to, of course, get there very shortly for everyone. There's Pro Bowl John Abraham. I'll take that card. It's definitely one that I needed. I have it now. We have Jericho Cotri. I believe he is in the Steelers collection. What else do we have in store here? Our contract extension, so there was that one. I have a couple friends opening packs for these cards, so, you know, hopefully when I get done seeing, of course, what are in my packs, hopefully I'll go over to their Skype call 
and maybe some guys like Ryan and Josh have pulled this Keenan Allen card. We're just going to have to see. There's Eric Weddle's Pro Bowl. I'll take that. We got Geno Atkins rookie card, Nick Novak, Randall Cobb, Playbook, and Desmond Trufant. So that was an alright pack for me. Looks like we're down to seven packs. Hopefully these things are going to heat up for me. And who knows, maybe we'll pull some crazy elites that sell for a lot of coins. Maybe we'll get some more playoff cards. We're just going to have to see what's in store. Stuart Bradley. We got Jordan Cameron, Pro Bowl Collectible. What else is in here? Another KJ Wright, Contract Extension. And once again, we have Rookie Victor Cruz. I guess another good thing you guys could go ahead and drop in the comments below of this video is your predictions for which two teams are going to make the Super Bowl this weekend. Personally, I believe I have the Broncos and the Seahawks advancing to the Super Bowl. I think that would be a nice matchup. We're just going to have to see what happens this weekend. But who knows? Tables can turn at any given moment. And of course, you know, you could have the Patriots facing off against the 49ers. But it's definitely going to be a fun weekend of football. Good luck to anyone's team if your team has made it this far. And let's just see who wins these football games. I'm getting a little nervous, guys. We got five packs to go, and we still have not seen a football outsider card. Now, you know, that's not uncommon. A lot of people go through bundles without finding football outsiders. But hopefully, for the sake of the video and for your entertainment, we're going to pull one. Let's just see what we got. All right, we got us a Joe Thomas Pro Bowl. If this was Madden 13, I'd be sitting on a lot of coins right now. If you guys remember Madden 13... What a fun game it was, right guys? Especially with the promos that they had. But, to wrap this pack up, we got our Pro Bowl of Joe Thomas. And of course, we got our silver card of Anthony Costanzo. And we're going to end it with a playoff version of Morgan Burnett. You know, I also have a lot of people that ask me this on a pretty frequent basis. Alright, there we go. Marcel Reese Pro Bowl Collectible. But anyways, you know, I have a lot of people that always ask me, you know, how do you get so many coins? And to tell you guys the honest truth, 100%, getting all these coins, all I do is complete collections that I know I can make a profit off of. What's the last card? Cliff Matthews. But anyways, guys, I always do collections that I know I can make a profit of. Now, can I name those collections for you? No, I cannot. Because to tell you guys the truth, when these new collections drop, I just go to my reserves. You see, I have a ton. And usually if I have most of those cards... I'll go ahead and collect the ones I do have, and if there's expensive ones, all I do is just lurk the auction block, and if I can snipe that card for cheap, I'm definitely going to snipe it, but I'm not going to overpay for a card when I know I can just wait around and get it for cheap. And that's just a method that I do. I don't know how you guys do it, but you've seen me do the Team MVP collections. There's our collectible of Troy Polamalu. And when I do the Team MVP collections, the most expensive cards that I do need for those I don't go and buy them. I just lurk the auction block and wait until a snipe pops up. And then, of course, I go ahead and strike and complete the collection, get my coins, get my reward card. And if it's a card I don't need, I sell it. And that also gives me an insane coin bump. Since we're down to our final two packs, I believe I'm just going to go ahead and reveal all for these last couple of packs. You know, if I could go back in time, I would probably do this from about five packs left. But we're just going to go ahead and test the reveal all method in a couple of packs and see what happens guys. So here we go. Bam. Alright. <laughs> I'll take that. We got us a Pro Bowl collectible of Cameron Wake. And speaking of players named Cameron. There is a road to playoff elite Cameron Jordan 92 overall. So that was definitely a good pack for me. And of course you guys see my silver card was Kyle Williams. So let's go ahead and test this method on our last and final pro pack. Alright, we're down to one pack, so if we're going to pull a football outsider, it needs to be in this pack right here. There's our contract extension, we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. And now since our reveal all method worked for the previous pack, let's try it again guys. Bam! And there you have it, playoff 94 overall, Giovanni Bernard. I'm going to go ahead and flip this card over, 94 speed, 96 agility, 94 acceleration, Carrying is, of course, 92, 94 elusiveness. His chemistries give plus 13 to both ground and pound and speed run. So there you have it, guys. It definitely works for me on a couple of packs, especially in this video. Hasn't always worked out that way, but we got lucky this time. And we're ending the pack with a Pro Bowl collectible of Joe Hayden. 
So that was definitely some nice packs for myself, if I do say so. And hopefully you guys had some luck as well. And now we're just going to go ahead and check out our bundle topper and our playoff pack. Alright, it's time to go ahead and check out what we have in our playoff collectible pack. Which collectible is it going to be? And it looks like we get the AFC South Division Winner collectible. So that was a nice pull. I definitely... You know, I'm excited about getting a couple of those within the video. So now we're going to go ahead and end the video with our bundle topper. You know, when I always do these bundles, I'm excited to see what we have in our topper pack. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what we got. Looks like we got a 92 overall Mason Foster that gives plus 10 to zone defense and run stuff chemistries. You guys have seen me pull this card in previous videos. It's not a bad card to pull. But you know at the same time, I can just go ahead and throw this up on the auction block, get an extra little coin boost, and hopefully before too long you guys will see me hit 1 million coins on Madden 25. That's what my goal is. And I'm also trying to go ahead and get all the Pro Bowl collectibles. I had a very good pack opening, and if you guys enjoyed it, please shatter the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, let me know in the comments below if you guys pulled Keenan Allen's limited edition football outsider and of course the number it was and the console you guys are on so once more I hope you guys have enjoyed it thank you for tuning in and until next time guys roll tide our collection is now done so now that we have it finished let's go ahead and take a look at our MVP reward card